let's see if this works. Uh, let's go and do some gill bubbles. Uh, we're actually going to hit this guy first, actually. Um, we're actually kind of late to this fight. So the first team, what I want to do is I want to take Delphoi to distract the monkey. Take Bella for defense break. We're going to take out Lagmaron first. Take out Jasun and leave the monkey to keep hitting on, on, on Delphoi. Uh, the second team is... Holy oh, shit. I couldn't even see. Uh, we could have just Lucian the second team, but we just died. That's concerning. I can't actually see what's going on. Right, so let's let's cleanse at least. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to figure out how to use this recorder. Probably going to go back to Mo's, and if things don't go too well, ooh. Uh, leave Bella alone, please. And if we can get a violent proc, yeah, that was beautiful. And cleanse those off. Do that too soon. She got resisted. Um, this should be a one shot. There we go. Now it's time to take out just soon. Once Jasun is dead, it's... Ooh, don't, don't violent proc. It's very, very scary when you... There we go. When you violent proc like that. So Jasun's going to get an extra turn. She's going to have to cleanse the defense break off, which is kind of annoying. So we need to get that back on as soon as possible. Can we do this? And... Ooh. That's super scary. Right. Kill? No. She's nearly dead. Um... Hopefully, we can get in, we can, yes, our attack bar can get in, so we can take Jasun down. We're probably going to lose Delphoi in this fight, because we're going to power up the monkey, even if it's by accident. Uh, and he's nearly dead, but that might power him up enough to one-shot. Nearly one-shot. If he's violent prox right now, we're dead. Okay, so we took him down. Pretty easy. Okay, so this team, we actually managed to take a, a speed team for this, uh, even if... Sort of by accident, so we cleanse the debuffs. Lucian goes in, and that should be kills on. No, no kills. We should have taken crit rate buff. We should have. Okay, this gets interesting. Can we stun? No. Uh, this might decrease our attack, but we've got some. We got some really clutch stuns off. And Connor is going to cleanse it all off, and then Annabelle's going to heal, which is going to be super annoying. So, I want to kill Annabelle. As quickly as possible before she starts causing the defense breaks. Yeah, that kind of stuff is super annoying. We should have taken a crit buff. Right, defense break. Oh, we don't. We're not critting. Why are we not critting? So we've got elemental advantage. That's just weird. Can we break, please? There we go. And yeah, kind of a slow. For the second team, I wanted to kill quicker. Um, if I take crit buff, probably would have uh, hit through it because we do about seven thousand the card. Probably taking that team down. Let's have a look at who else. I'm trying to hit the plus threes actually because I want to get the points. We're already late to the go battle, so we might as well. Um, Ryan, we're going to avoid that because I just I hate that Verdi heal, very much Bella defense. So look what we've got. So we're going to do speed for the second one. Um, we're going to take in him. That will one shot the entire team. The first team, this is why you can't do anything like that. All you need to do is take buff removal. Actually, we don't even need to take uh, Chiwu. We can just take something like. Uh... I feel like Simbaras is too squishy. We can do something like that. Does it work? I think it works. Uh, let's just let's just go for it. See how it goes. Uh, if we get smacked, then we do. It all depends if who Fiamars wants to target. If he wants to try and one shot Burner, then things get interesting. And uh, this is okay because we can just block the the, the buffs for his uh, Katarina, and then. She, he, the Kano's going to do whatever, and then Perna's going to one-shot Katarina, so not a problem. And now we just kill Fiamars. 
before he decides to wipe out the entire team. Let's leave him sleeping. Let's leave him sleeping. We probably should have healed then, actually. Um, let's take out the Chloe for a while. While we've got time to to, to, do, to do more damage to her. Let's save that for the Fear Mars. And wait and see if he will violent proc some crazy times. Uh, let's do that for Fear Mars. Uh, Chloe's going to move out of that anyway, so... It, it, before Perna could go, so it doesn't matter. And let's try and... Please don't proc. Thank you. And what we do now is we just straight up kill Fear Mars. Should be a kill. No, we glanced. We glanced, that's why. Uh, even the opponent's like 85%, because obviously Fear Mars is water. I don't have... Oh, wow. That's crazy. Don't do that again. Oh, ooh. Okay. Kill. Alright, we triggered the passive, which is good. Resistance. Perfect. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that's a loss. Oh, he doesn't proc up until, like, the end. That's ridiculous. Anyway, let's get. Uh, let's try and win the second fight. At least get a draw on this rather than looking really, really bad for the kill. Uh, he can buff. He didn't buff. Okay, he just tried to shoot. And that should be the whole team dead. Apart from Randy. See, that's the weird thing. Even though Lucian's 100% crit rate, that uh, the element of disadvantage is really, really awesome. And it, it basically stops the team getting Lucian. Any team, get, any team, any kind of team getting single target Lucian. We're going to avoid that one because of the dirty heal defense. We can probably just hit that guy just to be safe. Um, not that, because like, it doesn't matter. It's kind of a crappy Guild Battles video, but we're actually going to... Okay, so obviously single type, single fear Mars, uh, let's just do that. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some PvP afterwards, just to make the video longer. And uh, we're going to see how all that shit goes. Okay, the problem is I have... Oh, I didn't want this to happen. Uh, I didn't want Bella to go, because then Veramos goes and he cleanses and he stuns. Uh, so his actual, his uh, Veramos is ru ruined perfectly, just in this case, it's perfectly speed tuned to... Okay, should we use second skill? Yeah, let's try and use the second skill. There we go. My Super Mouse is on Violent. Um, the, one of the w runes has like 26% crit damage, which is kind of weird, even though it's plus 9. Um... So that's actually pretty cool, but uh, besides that, the runes on my same mouse are pretty shit. Uh, he hits like 11,000 on third skill with defense break, which is terrible. Uh, yeah, I, the runes obviously gone into the Lucians. I took the runes off Super Mario to give them to Lucian. Uh, so this is this event, which is currently going on, which is really annoying because you have to power up runes. If you don't have mana already, if you're struggling for mana, uh, then you're going to be kind of annoyed. And also, I'll just show you what you need to do. It's it's actually really simple. Uh, and I'll show you the fastest ways to do this. So everyone's probably going to have Unknown Scrolls saved up. If you don't, that's quite surprising. But if anything, you can just uh, get monsters from clearing scenarios. So actually, the hardest thing is clearing 30 scenarios. So you can probably do this with uh, the normal versions. If you have free energy, free energy each time, 90 energy. To just to do that, it's kind of crazy. Uh, the wings you already have by default, you can use them. Just like that's just enter. You don't have to win, uh, so that's fine. Uh, you actually have to clear the scenarios. You have to be able. To, obviously, everyone can do uh, all the scenarios anyway, so that's not a worry. Uh, you have to power up ten runes, uh, rune ten times. And unless you have tons of runes, which you can all like plus one, plus three, uh, you're gonna it's gonna drain mana quite a bit. So you also need to power up monsters, which we already do three times a day anyway, so that's not a worry. And with the acquired monsters, you can just use the monsters that you summoned through unknown scrolls to power up. So the bottom three are kind of easy to do, the green is easy to do, because you do it by default, just by clearing your wings. Um, but the scenarios is the hardest part by far, and uh, I wouldn't say try and rush to do it. Um, it shouldn't be your only focus in the game, it's just to clear your wings, but if you want to go for it, then go for it. Let's see who we can go for. Nope. Who else? 
We can give this a go, although it's going to be kind of annoying, because if we don't one-shot, if, if Irma stuns, uh, like, both Lucians, uh, then we're probably not going to be able to one-shot Annabelle. Uh, but if we can kill off Annabelle, at least, then that removes the defense break from the team. Okay, so unless they have Nemesis runes, this is this is probably a win. Because the looks of things... Ooh, okay. So very much fucked up, Ren. So that's good. Um, I need to increase the speed on my Lucians. That's like the priority of next removal for me. It's just increase the Lucian speed to like 150. Uh, sacrificing the damage, of course. Let's get rid of Annabelle. Uh, and then... Because she can do the most annoying thing. Like her heal... It's just kind of, it's just, I don't know, her like, her, she can be annoying, so we'll just get rid of her first. And besides, I don't think we'd kill her soon uh, with that. So let's have a look who else we can Lucian. And I've done tons of Lucian, like, arena videos. I've done two, and I've done some before that, before when I only had one Lucian, single tag Lucian nuking. And it just shows you how easy it is to, to nuke teams with Lucian comps. So this team is kind of annoying because he's he's got some really serious damage. Unless you have the uh, like the beast monks to be able to tank that kind of stuff, it can really fuck you over. Hmm. This one's I'm not a fan. Can we refresh again? No. Okay. Uh, let's just let's clear the rival. Actually, no, let's not clear the rival. Let's see if anyone got anyone who we can hit. No. I mean, we could try that, but I reckon he outspeeds. And he's got fire monsters too, so we're most likely going to not crit on those. Uh, who? You're the lowest ranked, right? Okay, so we can try something like this, which is this guy. This setup. And the idea is, if we we got the same leader skill as them, because of Chewbacca, uh, we can strip the debuff, the uh, will runes, or anything else. Not that will runes matter, but if they've got shield runes, we can strip shield runes off them. Um, but we outspeed, that's perfect. And... Um, my uh, this guy is is in tune with Bernard in such a way that he's always going to go after Bernard goes. Like uh, it's rarely happened that uh, their Bernard has gone before him. Rarely, really happens. So now they're all going to do whatever they want to do. Uh, but she could potentially put a bomb. But she's going to put a bomb on him if anything, right? Uh, he's probably going to attack him, and then she soon can do whatever. And if she lands glancing on Lucian, then it can get annoying. But she's already gone and done her buff, which is what I expected her to do. So now this should kill, like, at least three, yeah, two or three, and then it's just seen by herself, and just seen by herself is, uh, pointless, which is why just soon, she's a great healer, but it's not like something like Ariel, or, um, who else is a good healer, Praha, who can solo teams, not really solo, but, like, they can take ages to kill, because they can self-heal by such a large amount. Uh, so that was what we did for them. We're going to leave that team. Let's just see. If, yeah, we can refresh again. That's good. Okay. Who else can we Lucian? Okay, so this guy is running the interesting comp of speed lead with him. So I was, I say we take the same team in, and I reckon we can... Uh, I want to see how this uh, new this new uh, fairy, fairy king does in PvP. Probably doing pretty well for this guy, because he's higher up. But he's quite slow actually, so that's interesting. And they don't have any buff removal, so we don't have to worry about anyone stripping buffs randomly. Because Bell, I know Bella Dion can be kind of annoying, and then she strips the buffs of the right of the right monster, and then very much stuns, and you basically fucked. Uh, but that's Fiamar's dead, which is the main uh, worry of the team. She's soon is gonna try and heal up again. Okay, so that's gonna do damage, not really a lot actually. And then our next job is just to kill. The fairy king Earl over and over again. She's gonna do whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, let's just do this for extra damage. Uh, uh, we still crit. Okay. Kill him again. Strip buffs. Uh, we're just gonna heal you slightly, but not that it matters at this point in the fight. And uh, let's see if we can get more debuffs onto onto Jisun. Once Jisun, if she's in violent procs and like does some stuff, then that can be annoying. But she probably won't this time. Um. I don't know why, but when Ochisun is stunned, she tends not to like a violent prog afterwards, uh, for the most part. Uh, this can be, this, this Veldril can be quite annoying actually. Uh, if he pops the white ruler and we don't land a defense break with uh, Bernard, 
then he can be here quite a while. Um, and if he happens to like just kill Lucian, then we lose a lot of the damage as well. But since he's got no heal, uh, I'm not worried at all. So we take him down anyway. So that's the kind of that's the kind of ideas for that team. Just one shot the MR straight away, uh, and then like that that Water Fairy King. I don't I don't I never seen him really do anything scary in arena so far uh, personally. These like Chloe Chasun Theomas teams is just constantly like this is a just team I'd I'd bring against this because they have I mean the Veramos can stun but they have to rely this team kind of relies on Veramos on Chloe this team relies so much on so much their stuff, right? So they rely on Chloe outspeeding. Like if I took Megan into this with two Lucians, I could easily like one shot the uh, Veramos and the Chisun, but uh, that's not the type of strategy I've gone for. So at this point in the fight, all I need to do is that to Lucian, and see look how slow he is. It is Chloe. His Chloe is super slow, and that's loot. That's his um, Veramos dead. Chisun and and Chloe can do whatever they want to heal, but at this point in the fight, it doesn't make that much difference. Um, so Chisun's gonna get some violent parts. We're gonna be able to, to proc out of the uh, the defense break. Uh, but we're gonna save Chua's third skill because Chloe hasn't popped her shield just yet. Let's take out very much from from the the fight, and then it gets a lot easier from then. Chisun still hasn't no not Chisun. Uh, Chloe still hasn't used her uh, her fanatic. She'll probably use it now, uh, which is okay. I don't mind her if Chloe uses the fanatic now. Wait, she did use fanatic, didn't she? I'm confused. I'm really confused. I thought Chloe used it. Not that it matters. Uh, so Shishun is nearly dead, and that's Shishun dead. Uh, let's keep Veramos uh, on sleep. I'm pretty sure that his he will have like his stun his stun skill charge because I know that when you stun a monster, the cool time doesn't go down. But if you put him to sleep, I think freeze the cool time uh, doesn't go down. Okay, let's save that for when we can uh, crit on the Chloe. Still hit. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to do that to make sure that he very much didn't like stun or anything like that. So Chloe's gonna fanatic, which is completely fine, and we we buff, and then we uh, this is more this is a higher chance to to remove the debuffs, which so is why I always prefer it because if he doesn't do it this first time, it has a second time to do it, and this should crit most of the time. And there we go, and that's Chloe dead. Uh, I could have buffed Lucian straight away, but. Uh, Chloe using the Fnatic kind of helped in that fight, and now we're back into Conqueror 2, which is where we want to be. It's kind of where I've been hanging around. So, single fear mods, we've got to hit this, guys. We've got to hit this. Like, this is three points. You can, like, if someone's got one monster, you know, unless it's like a Camilla where they can actually just 1v4 your team with, like, the god runes, which some players have, then you've got to go for it. So, if someone's just 6 star, ooh, 6 star Lisa, 6 star Verde Heal? Okay. I swear I saw Lisa 6 star then. Is that, is that a guild? Yeah, a guild. Okay, okay that makes sense. Uh, and let's just one shot this VMRs. So that's VMRs down. And let's have a look. Who else? Who else? Uh, nah, that's a Ryan with speed lead. Uh, and judging by this guy's rank, he's probably going to outspeed me. So let's. Uh, Imagine if the, the, the buffs for that would be... Okay. Is that right? See, this is the type of team where I'd actually just do this again. And the reason why is... Unless it's already, like, glancing... Adds glancing to Lucian. And that can be annoying. Um, but most of the time... We're going to go first, right? And then... Because the speed tune... Lucian's not going to die now. There's no way Lucian dies. So even if we land, like, he gets glanced by Zarya, who, if she gets stunned now, we definitely won this fight. And Lucian goes anyway. Uh, I don't know how that managed to happen, but basically, at this point, uh, he's basically dead. Uh, there's no buff removal on their team. There's no no one to, like, stun, unless they ha unless they have a wound or a despair, which is, I mean, bread is despair, but... Uh, besides that, it's unlikely that uh, monsters like Gally. I mean, Izaria can be despair, but I don't recommend it. She's she's Rage Blade, really, to do the most amount of damage you can get. And let's see. Nope, let's ignore that. Uh, we could tear that team down, but it's going to take ages. 
Um, I want to let's just add our plus three wings to this and let's spin the wheel. And then we, if we can't refresh, then we're going to hit the guy, it's going to take a while. Um, this is just to make sure that you know we don't get plus five wings after the video is done. And by looks of things, we're not going to get it, we're probably going to get like 15 crystals. Uh, so no worries. Like, I don't see the point of them having um, some of the stuff that like 10k mana is just so pointless because no one's it's never going to like change anyone. So I'd rather wait for 10 seconds actually. Has anyone hit us? No. Okay, so rewards this time. But he's harmful. Like the two stars are always harmful anyway. But he's okay. He's, he's interesting though. Um, because if you make him tanky enough, he can be pretty annoying actually. Um, I think so. He increases his attack gauge as well if he crits. Okay, so this guy is actually really like a kind of annoying tank. I need the HP one. Um, uh, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, he's a bit like a caster. Who is very interesting? Um, he's like increases in the on elongate. Kind of cool. Um, but obviously, I haven't got the the monsters to go that high in arena. We can try and hit that guy, which is kind of interesting. So this one, um, I want to do something like this. And the reason why is because the monkey stuns. And very much defense, you know, very much will stun, Bell will defense break. So this guy's team is built around Nemesis runes. I guarantee he's got Nemesis runes. So, I mean, we outspeed. And then we're definitely going to outspeed after uh, Draco goes. But now we have immunity, even if his monsters... Look, look, see, he stuns, you see? He would stun, and then he would defense break us. Bella's going to heal up, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I don't know if we can actually kill Bella. No, we can't, okay. So, Veramas is going to stun, and... Ooh, Theomaz is going to kill Lucian. It's going to be super annoying. Uh, can we get a good timing on this defense break? I think we could. And then if, oh no, oh, you, actually no, you know, I didn't do anything, so, uh, okay, that's, yeah, we lost this fight, for fuck's sake. Okay, different tactic, I'm going to go in again, and, because I, I hate, I hate losing fights, which I know I should win, he just kind of got lucky, so we're going to go in with the, with the basic team, and, he wasn't a nemesis. I'm really surprised he's not a nemesis and he's that high up, that high up in arena. That 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 team should not with no in it be this high up because his monkey's not doing much damage. He's, he's like, you know, okay. Uh, let's do that. And unless he's very much does something crazy and stuns like both Lucians, there is no way. And Bella's just made the fight even easier because that means that the left Lucian cannot just get like hit by Theomars or something. He's like the Theomars is gonna target uh, him and he's very much just fucked up really bad. And now the whole team's dead besides Theomars because of his endure. See that's what we should have done straight away, but you don't know because you have to plan for the Nemesis runes, right? Uh, but if I make my Lucians faster then I probably don't have to worry about them. Like if I get my Lucians to like 180 speed, uh, you know Nemesis runes could play a factor but you know, we're going to have less chance of the Nemesis runes becoming as annoying as they, as they currently are to me. So let's refresh again and see if we can pick up anyone else off who's got a defense that is Lucianable. Uh, this guy. Okay, this is a classic example of you take speed lead, I take speed lead, and whoever wins the speed war wins the fight, hands down. Like, there is nothing his team can do if my Bernard goes first. Absolutely nothing they can do. And his Bernard goes first, but his Bernard fucked up, so we're kind of lucky here. Really, really super lucky. Uh, normally, you'd expect his Bernard to go, so his defense is kind of fucked up right now. And uh, we're going to pop Chiru's third skill, purely to see if we can get a stun off onto, like, Lucian. No stuns, but it doesn't matter. Our Lucian goes, and his whole team is toast. So... Uh, they won the speed war with the Bernard being faster, but luckily that Bernard uh, made a, a gigantic mistake and allowed us to win the fight. They've got a Kumar on that team. We're going to avoid Kumar. He is just ridiculous. We could try and just like straight up try and kill this guy 
with the standard team, something like this. Um, but the you run into the issue of the commander taking ages and ages and ages to kill. But we can try it. Let's let's try it. I mean, let's try and make the video longer than it already is. Why not? That's that's what we do. Part of the channel, you know, make everything thirty minutes or above. Uh, since we can now we can make them above that time. So is it going to win the speed ball? Uh, which is kind of annoying. So what we want to do right now is take out that Veramos. Uh, but since Bernard has defense break, uh, let's try and strip that down. And hopefully they're not ruined with despair, which is always bloody annoying if they are. Right. That's a kill on Bernard, for sure. Right, because Bernard's always, like, squishy. Okay. So. Let's cleanse that off. Heal up. And now we take down the Veramos. Let's just try and do that. See if we can like keep the defense break on someone going into the... F no, no. Veramos goes in between. Um, can we get some stuns off? Nope. Uh, he's going to cleanse one of those debuffs off, uh, which is fine. Uh, unless he gets some like, crazy violent box. See, like, the way his team is supposed to work is that uh, Bernard's supposed to boost up, right? And his Veramos is supposed to like stun. They have no buff removal, so if someone takes a Chloe into this team, I reckon they can wait off all the long cooldowns and defeat what his team is trying to do. Like, as soon as his Veramos is dead, this becomes like a, a ten times easier fight. Uh, and, and the reason, simple reason for that is, is that he will have no uh, cleanser, right? And, and granted, he's got healers on his team, which can potentially heal, but his Veramos is, is basically dead now. Um... So now we just go after Ritesh. So the idea is behind his team is that Ritesh AoE defense breaks. And then his command like does the kill shot and like kills somebody, right? But the issue with this kind of team is why he won't get like he won't stay in Conqueror 2. He won't stay at this rank. Is the fact that his team doesn't have wall runes, which it doesn't make any sense why his team does not have wall runes. And also his team has no uh, buff removal. And basically, if I was fighting this team, and if I don't have, like, Perna or something, I'd just take Chloe, take Katarina, and just wait out. Chloe goes first, you know. I mean, unless he's a Bernard, you know, his Bernard is fairly speedy, so, you know, he could win He could win out of speed. But, you know, most Chloe's, like, he's going to be firing in again, so he's going to be, like, 250 plus speed. And they'll just wait out their own cooldowns, or take wall runes, or even take wall runes, and then just nuke him. And that's what people will actually do. People will take... You need to prepare your defense to uh, protect yourself against those kind of compositions, which are just going to destroy your team if you're not prepared. So let's take uh, that team again, against this guy. So I, I don't know if we've fought this guy before, um, but most likely his Lucian is going to hit 40k. So if we don't outspeed, then it's going to be a big mistake. So he's... Oh, wow. Second time Bernard has, has failed on, on, on a defense. I thought they patched him. I thought they made it so he, like, most of the time he's doing it. Which is kind of weird. You expect, you know, that not to happen anymore. And again, we get the same scenario. But if, okay, so here this guy stuns. Okay, so he stuns and freezes, which is interesting. So potentially, um, his Lucian could one shot us. Um, he can de okay, so he can definitely, yeah, 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 okay, so. He doesn't one shot actually, but oh, okay, okay. Can we stun? Can we kill? Oh, we killed. Oh no, Bernard went. Oh, okay, that's that. We lost this fight. Yeah, that's unlucky. Uh, he got really lucky on. Well, he throws Lucian anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so that kind of concludes the video. Shows you. But I want to talk. Actually, no, let's talk completely. Yeah, let's talk about the arena defense. We're gonna do a separate video about that and how to get high. Uh, I'm just show you quickly mine and, and what I try and go for and what protects me. So with the boxes I have, I can't do tanky. I just can't. And in my opinion, tanky is not a way to go. Meta is too double speed as my Bernard is two point two speed. It's not very good. But it's okay. Uh, but the issue with speed league is like two hundred and sixty odd. So you know, like, yeah, like two hundred and sixty odd speed. We'll go. We'll say two hundred sixty. It's probably more. It's a lot more than that, but it's two hundred sixty-ish. I mean, not including the towers and shit. So, it's gonna have to be a lot of defense. Then the Chiru buff strips. So he protects 
entirely against the Chloe comps. So someone can't use Chloe, Katarina, like Elsa, and then like another nuka to try and nuke me. Like they can't use Chloe, Double Lucian, and Seek or something like that. So um, if they don't like they they could their Chloe could outspeed like my Bernard with the speed lead and uh, on the towers and stuff. Um, but the Chew is gonna probably strip buffs beforehand. Like the 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 way they'd have to do it is have to take like a Chloe. They have to take like two attack of boosters basically because if they if their Lucius are not like if their like, Nukas are not speedy enough, uh, then then they're not gonna be able to survive because Chew is gonna strip buffs. So any Wilburns they have and take off, the idea is then very much will stun. Actually, the thing is, the problem with my defense currently is actually that Chewu is slower than Veramos, uh, which is actually an issue. So I probably should switch Veramos out for someone else uh, who, who makes more sense, actually. And my defense will probably hold it better. So I'm going to do that now, actually. Um, Delphi? No. Not, I, don't think I mean, Orion can actually be kind of useful because then he can be annoying. And then he can like strip bullet myself. Smiles can be sort of okay to use. I don't have any strong or the nuke. Like if I had to put someone on the team who I'd want to put in, I'd try and get him in, just to uh, discourage people using like Veramos' stuff with passives. But I'd probably say like my best option right now is to just stick in Bella. And the reason why is because Bella is slower than Chibu, so Chibu can strip buffs. And then Bella goes, and then Perna. It's quite slow actually. I want I want Perna to be a lot faster. Right, I'm trying to work on the runes. Um, Perna is rage. I think no, Perna is fatal actually. Fatal. Um, so I'm trying to. Um, I'm gonna mess around with runes all over again. And Bernard is like the only monster. Bernard and like this Lucian. Actually, no, this Lucian is gonna change as well. He needs more. Uh, so Bernard are the only monster. You know, so he's not gonna change. He's gonna run back. Maybe. maybe I definitely want him to be a bit faster, actually. But most of the time, like, I want him to be like, slow enough to where uh, he can put her shield and then she can put it off. Uh, you can't do that quick enough. Okay, so what else? Um, this protects against the Chloe teams, it protects against the uh, Lucian Speed, it protects against Speed teams because we have Speed Lee and Bernard. And we have to really work hard. Then you've got Perna is gonna one shot someone. This, I mean, like this is kind of like an ideal team for the other ones about Bella being. Perna is a kill shot. The idea is that Perna can kill someone, kill someone on the team who who's not like Fiamas. Because Perna's not gonna target Fiamas, so we don't have to worry about that. Like Perna's gonna like one shot your Veramos most likely if you bring Veramos into against his team. Bella with defense break, Veramos goes, and not Veramos goes like, and then Bella goes. Turner goes, Nuxia or Veramos, hopefully uses his Flame Nova, hopefully uses his Flame Nova, and that's the plan behind the team, and then after that, you are fighting 3v4, which is a lot harder. Uh, Anti-Lucian, mostly, even if they outspeed, they're, they're probably going to kill Bernard, they're probably going to kill uh, Bella, but then they've got, they've got two five monsters to deal with, and Perna can be, you know, it, it makes them waste time. Plus, Chua has annoying uh, crit animations, okay? So that's kind of my defense and my thought process behind it. If you need any help or advice with Arena, I'm going to make some videos on it. So don't worry too much. I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, peace out. Well, I can't even find a way to, to, to cut the clip, which is incredible. I'm pretty sure I tap up here. Nope, nope, nope. Right. This is like perfect. Nope. No.